revenue stream, which is primarily sales tax. At some point, the voters are going to renew Prop S or not. And we have a continuing task of explaining and educating them to the realities of what it takes to provide the services and continue to have their buy-in on those services that they're funding through their purchases and whatever other methods. So stumbling blocks into stepping stones, if we learn what other models may work and we speak to our citizens and say, here are our options, seemingly. Do you have any other ideas? Do you agree that this is a better model? Perhaps they will say, yes, that's a better model. It provides more stability for the community, for instance, as a possibility. But if we don't have this data, how do we have that discussion in any meaningful way? I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, Councilmember Thomas? One of the, the um, principal advantages, potential benefits, is, is um, another set of external eyes on our, on our um, financial prospects, our current conditions and prospects. And um, I, I have complete confidence in, in the people who are sitting here today, but um, they're, they're there may be perspectives that in our little valley we don't have that this person might bring in that would be really useful. And I, I, I think that's not a bad idea and it's coming at a pretty cheap price. Okay, even though I uh, am, I question, I question this, uh, there's, a, there's sort of, to me there's some mumbo jumbo in here, some vague generalities. I hope we, we get a, a really good product. Again, if it's good for the city, if for example, a new fire district funded by some other way is good for the citizens of Ukiah, it's liable to be costly to the, to the citizens who don't live in Ukiah who would be part of that uh, project. And so the question is, how could you possibly get them to support a new a fire district tax that was bad for the residents of the valley but good for the residents of the city of Ukiah. How would you ever successfully fund that district? I don't know the answer to that, but this data may be helpful. Mm -hmm. Another piece is maybe it's a JPA. Maybe it's an agreement. Maybe there's more cooperation between existing entities. I don't think we want to approach this with the idea that we know what the outcomes are. Okay. I'm going to support it, however, I fear that there will be recommendations for privatization of much of our current city services, and generally my, my, my view of, of what should happen in the community is in opposition to privatization. I do sort of read into here a movement towards privatization. But I'll support it, and, and we'll see what happens with the 21,000 when it comes back. Further discussion? Roll call. Oh, did, was it, excuse uh, me. I, I've been trying to get my. I'm sorry. Marker in your peripheral. Apologies. It's okay. Um, it also seems to me that it twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money, but if the staff, our current, our current staff is heavily engaged in other tasks of a financial nature, and they can't get to it, that's a good reason to hire somebody to help us do it. And sometimes, <laughs> the other pair of eyes that looks at a situation evaluates what data needs to be collected slightly differently and provides a viewpoint that's, um, you know, you can't be a guru in your own town sometimes. You know, it's so, sometimes nice to have that new new per perspective. Okay. You could be a finance minister. <laughs> you might be able to be. <laughs> Further council discussion? Public uh, comment? Roll call. Councilmember Landis. Aye. Thomas. Aye. Crane. Aye. Roden. Yes. Mayor Baldwin. Yes. Moving on to 
Item 11I, discussion of City Council Conference and Training Budget. Um, I brought this forward in hopes that we would uh, reaffirm our current position of uh, $3,500 with us uh, divided equally among five members, and I'm curious if the current council is interested in reaffirming that policy. It's fine with me. Councilmember Crane. This applies across the board, or this applies to general fund only? I, well, right here in front I, of my I, face I know that certain, certain uh, conferences are theoretically paid for by NCPA, for example, right? Yes. Although, or there's this, no way to monitor whether or not or there's the reimbursement for that. What? The electric utility. Or the, or the water. I know that uh, I saw recently that. Well, I saw that, yeah, that one of our members went to the Awani, and that was paid for out of the water budget. So that would be, yeah, that's different. This is out of the general fund that was the question. budget. Is there just uh, consensus to support this policy? I continue to support it. So that would mean that in May, if I wanted to go to Chico to check out their, uh, how they support their the biggest city park west of the Mississippi, that if I wanted to go in May, there would still be $700 in, in the budget. And I loan you a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's no further discussion, we're going to make, I'm going to, is it okay for staff to like, assume that we're reaffirming the policy? Yeah. Okay. Do, is there any interest? To, we are uh, done with the city council agenda. No, I. Eleven J. Oh, excuse me. Update on Observatory Park and adoption of resolution approving an application for land and water conservation fund competitive grant program for Ob Observatory Park development. Eleven J. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor and Council Members. Um, we're bringing this forward to you. Um, Tonight, in January, we became aware of a land and water conservation fund grant opportunity that we felt would be very competitive for Observatory Park. We've, um, as noted in the agenda summary report, we've been actively pursuing other avenues for funding to get this park up and running without having to use the amount that's budgeted. Um, so that that money, if we are successful in getting a grant, could go to another project. Um, so the deadline for this grant is March 2nd, so it's quickly approaching. So we're giving you an update of the property and um, an, a resolution that would say that, we're, that we want to move forward with um, applying for this grant. Last night at the Park Rec and Golf Commission, they recommended pursuing this opportunity. Um, and I think unless there was any other points to touch on. I, I just want to make the comment that, I mean, this park has <coughs> been planned in development for quite a while and we've struggled with funding for the park and how we get it. And we've, you know, just recently been able to get enough money in the park development fund, which is funded through grants in lieu fees from developers and so forth. And we have 100,000 that's currently budgeted this year for the completion of that park. And that, uh, you know, that, you know, what we're essentially saying is that we would like to delay the build of this park using those funds because we feel that the greatest opportunity exists for grant funding to come into this particular park and so those funds can then be used in other avenues like the skate park or one of our other park developments that we want to do. Um, we do recognize that this will uh, delay the park further in its development and um, we want to make sure that you're